right, to this story now. To kids in Ruskin, he was the friendly neighborhood ice cream man. But to prosecutors, Mikey, Michael Keatley is a murderer whose act of revenge went too far. And 12 years after Keatley was charged with shooting two men to death, he's finally set to go to trial. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez explains why the judge isn't going to let the trial be put off any longer. The ice cream man murder case of Michael Keatley is now 12 years old. Upon further deliberation and discussion, the jury has not reached a unanimous verdict. And after one mistrial two years ago and a hunger strike protesting the jail's food menu. Hey, I, I'm just trying to get a piece of fruit. I've been out here for over five years. I haven't had a piece of fruit since I've uh, been in this place. The state is ready to go at it again. Mr. Keatley is present at um, Falkenberg Road Jail. Keatley's trial is now set for October, and the judge made it clear he's not budging. We're set for trial in October, if I remember correctly, and I said absolutely under no circumstances are we continuing or moving it. Keatley is accused of a horrific shooting spree that left two brothers dead and four others severely injured in a case of mistaken identity. Prosecutors say on Thanksgiving Day in 2010, Keatley was out for revenge after he had been robbed and shot during an ice cream route, but they say he targeted the wrong men. I want justice. Paz Quesada, the mother of the two men killed, Juan and Sergio Gatron, has been waiting for justice for over a decade. Please pray for, you know, pray for, for me. Now this heartbroken mother waits another four months to see if her son's accused killer goes to prison or beats the murder charges. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. Now, Keatley's trial is set for October 10th and is expected to last three weeks.